On July 13th, 2016, Legally Blonde has turned 15 years old. Happy 15th anniversary to Legally Blonde. And the movie also happened to actually come out on my birthday. So yeah, happy birthday to me. So in celebration of the 15th anniversary of Legally Blonde, Kevin Folk and I are going to be reviewing the movie. So I hope you all enjoy. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I am here to review Legally Blonde. So before I review Legally Blonde for its 15th anniversary, my guest star Kevin Falk is going to be reviewing this movie. So Kevin, take it away. Thank you, Tony, and hey guys, um, if you've never seen my videos before, I am Kevin Falk. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, uh, sometimes I'll do the occasional trailer reaction, I do unboxings, pretty much everything on my channel. Sometimes I even sing a little, you guys can check that out, but today we're going to be reviewing a movie that... I wouldn't have really watched on my free time. Um, I've heard about it, obviously. This is actually one of my mom's favorite movies. And that is a movie that is turning 15 today. And that is none other than the 2001 comedy classic Legally Blonde. Now, I was really looking forward to this movie, actually. I was, for many reasons. Like I said, um, it's one of my mom's favorite movies. But I also really like the musical. That's really all I knew with this movie, is that I knew the musical. I knew how that played out. I knew how good the musical is, which the musical is actually really good. I honestly recommend you guys check it out, because it's a really good musical. But I hadn't seen the movie, uh, surprisingly. I'm surprised I haven't, because my mom's played it so many times. I hadn't seen the movie, and... Uh, Finally, I did get to see, and I gotta say, I overall really enjoyed Legally Blind. I think this was a very fun movie, a lot better than I thought it was gonna be, and really, I think, still holds up very well to get day. I really did enjoy this movie overall. Uh, but let's get to the plot of Legally Blonde, which is very fairly simple. We focus on this girl, Elle Woods, played by Reese Witherspoon, and she pretty much is your stereotypical, like, fashion... I'm gonna say she's like a fashionista blonde, basically. You know, she's very blonde. She's very much, um, you know, California-type sorority girl, and that's just who she is. And she has this boyfriend, Warner, who she thinks is gonna end up proposing to her that night, but he actually ends up breaking up with her because he's going to law school and he doesn't feel that he that she's mature enough for him and that she's smart enough so she decides to prove him wrong rather rather than breaking up with him she decides i mean rather than extend that he broke up with her she decides to prove him wrong and follows him to law school where she vows to become just as smart and actually start at first really dislikes it but very slowly learns to enjoy it and that basically is the plot of legally blonde which i really do love the plot of this movie like i said it's fairly simple I'm sure you guys probably know the plot to this movie, um, but the plot's not really, I think, what makes this movie, because the plot's, you know, generic or whatever, you know, I've, you've heard this plot definitely probably a million times before, but let's get to the cast in this movie, because I think that's really the thing that makes this movie work so well. And if you guys don't know, this was definitely one of Reese Witherspoon's biggest movies. I mean, this really was the movie, I think, that made her really big, and she definitely deserves that honor, because she steals the entire show in this movie. She just has this character down perfectly as Elle Woods. I really loved her character. She was surprisingly very funny, and she just has so much charm throughout this role. I mean, even though Elle Woods, you could find her a little bit annoying, you really are rooting for her, because Elle Woods is the kind of character that wants to defy stereotypes. Yes, she's blonde. Yes, she's a sorority girl, but it doesn't mean that she can't practice law, and that she can't be somewhat smart, and that she can't learn how to go to law Law school. She actually wants to achieve this, and I thought she did a really good job with that. I really did like the determination in her character, but I also thought she was just a lot of fun to watch. I think definitely she keeps the movie just to be a lot of fun, and she's a very big character, but she's just a lot of fun to watch. That's something I think Reese Witherspoon did very, very well, is that Reese Witherspoon really isn't like that, um, you know, in real life, obviously, which, damn, was she hot back then, let me just say. She definitely was very attractive back then, but I really think she did a great job. I think she really stole the show from everyone else. Not that everyone else wasn't great, but I think out of everyone, she really was fantastic, and she really did do a great job. 
And then as far as the other performances go, they're all fine. I think everyone else did a really good job. Luke Wilson was really good as Emmett. Uh, I really did like his determination where he really is trying to tell Elle Woods to defile expectations and, you know, go to law school and everything. I really did like his character. Matthew Davis is the stereotypical asshole boyfriend, but who kind of thinks he's like the best thing ever. But I think overall he did a good job. And you can see he genuinely does care about Elle. He just doesn't really see her as someone who is somewhat smart. And I think they did do a good job when not making him a complete asshole. I definitely did like the way they did that. As well as Selma Blair as his, as his girlfriend Vivian, who we eventually find out that he had a girlfriend he was dating this entire time. I think she really did a great job as well. I definitely thought she was really good. And let me just say, the chemistry between Reese Witherspoon, she has with both of the, all four of these leads, she really does a great job with it. She's one of those actors that just has great chemistry with everyone. I think it's one of the reasons why Reese Witherspoon is, you know, doing all the movies she is today, because she has such good chemistry with every single actor, as well as Victor Garber. He's really good as the, as the uh, Professor Callahan. And then Jennifer Coolidge. I really love Jennifer Coolidge's character, this girl Paulette, who Elle becomes very close with, and uh, they kind of start a friendship or whatever, because they're bonding over ex-boyfriends. That was a lot of fun to watch. And then Elle's two friends, uh, Jessica um, Caulfell and Alana Ubach as Margot and Serena. I thought they were a lot of fun to watch. You know, again, there's typical, they're your stereotypical sorority girls. They didn't have too much of a character. They, they were fun, definitely, but they didn't have too much of a character for me. But I think overall, they did a really good job. I really like what they did in the movie, and I think overall, the entire cast was really good. The directing here I thought was definitely very good from uh, Robert Luketic because the thing I liked about it is that Yes, he is kind of poking fun at sorority girls, but he's also taking this seriously. You know, he wants to show that if you have, you know, an unusual passion for something, that's not usually something that would be something that your stereotype can get behind and something that, you know, social norms and everything, something that defies that. I think, you know, he's trying to say, you know, you should achieve it. It's just like Elle Woods. She wants to go into law school even if no one thinks she can. She wants to, and I really do like that. That can-do attitude. Yes, it's a message we've seen so many times before, but this movie just makes it somewhat original. I think they do it really well. They show that even though, as she says, she's a dumb, she's a dumb blonde with big boobs, as she says, she really can achieve these dreams, and I think they really did a great job, really, like the directing here. The screenplay is so consistently fun, and that's the thing I love, is that this is an extremely fun movie, and from looking at this, yeah, it is a chick flick, but it's one of those chick flicks that guys can enjoy. This is a movie where you're not just gonna watch this with, like, your girlfriend or something. This is a movie where I feel like if it was on TV, you can watch it, because it has Reese Witherspoon, who's very attractive, it has a very interesting story, and it's consistently funny. I was laughing a lot throughout this movie. I was actually surprised by how funny this movie really was. I was laughing a lot, and they really did a really good job with that. I really liked a lot of the jokes here. Much of it involving her in just the law school setting and seeing how she's so different from everyone else was a lot of fun to watch, and I really did enjoy seeing that. Also, the case, I was surprised. I don't usually love quorum dramas, but I actually really got into the case that was going on this movie. I thought overall it was very interesting, and I think that was something that I really did enjoy. Um, I thought, like I said, the screenplay here I thought was very well done. I definitely really did enjoy it. My only, I think, problem with the movie is that it is a little bit predictable. I think we pretty much know where it's going to go from the start, but you can kind of say that with every kind of movie like this. I mean, you kind of know just where this movie is going to go. It doesn't really go anywhere that's surprising that you think it's going to, except for one thing with Victor Garber's character, but I knew pretty much everything was going to happen going into this because, again, I've seen the musical, so I knew everything was going to happen here, and the musical's not that different, but I did think it was kind of cool the way that the musical directly pulled quotes from this and put it in there. This movie's also very quotable. There are so many lines uh, that, you know, you can quote definitely. I think definitely that's something else this movie does very well is that it's extremely quotable and there are many lines that I'll probably be saying randomly because they're just a lot of fun to watch. I really enjoy screenplay here. Cinematography, not much to it. I think the cinematography is very good. The law school, you know, feels like a law school. Sorority feels like a sorority and that's something I definitely will say. Cinematography I thought was very good here. The score here is great. I really do love the score. It's very fun, but I also really do love the song Perfect Day uh, by, I think her name is, what, what was her name? I can't think of her, um, Hoku. Really great song. Re it ends the movie. It starts the movie and closes the movie. And it's just a really fun song. It's one of those great songs. I can just put you in a great mood. It's just one of those great, like, pick-me-ups, as they call it. And I think she overall did a really good job. I really like what she did. I really liked her song in this movie. It's just a lot of fun to watch. You know, definitely uh, a really good movie song. Definitely really did enjoy it. 
And then the editing here, I thought this movie was very well edited. I didn't think the editing was choppy at all. It really did fly by for me. It's only 96 minutes. It didn't have to be any longer or shorter than it was. And that's something I'm a little bit surprised about. A lot of times with comedies, they drag on. But this movie never dragged on for me. I thought, for the most part, it worked very well. There's one dramatic part that I don't think worked nearly as well as it could have. But I think overall it worked really well. I definitely really did like what they did. Um, you know, the editing I thought was fine here. So overall, I thought that was fine. Overall, guys, when it comes down to it, I really enjoyed Legally Blonde. This isn't really a movie that's exploring new ground. It's nothing that amazing, but it's a really fun movie. It's a good, fun movie that I recommend you guys watch on Netflix. It is on Netflix. I didn't realize it was on Netflix, obviously. Um, honestly, I didn't realize it was on Netflix, but uh, if you guys want to check this out, I honestly highly recommend you would check out Legally Blonde, and overall, I am going to give Legally Blonde a 4 out of 5 or B plus. I really enjoyed this movie, surprisingly. I mean, I expected to because I really like the musical, but it's a lot of fun. I think, like I said, it's one of the few chick flicks that I think guys can enjoy. It has a really talented cast to really know what they're doing. And also a very good subject that, while not original, somehow finds a way to be original in this movie. And something that I really enjoyed. In fact, the movie even got a Golden Globe, if you guys didn't know. It got nominated uh, for Golden Globe Award for Best Comedy or Musical. And honestly, it really does deserve it. It's consistently funny. It's a lot of fun. And I highly recommend you guys check it out because it definitely is a lot of fun. It did spawn two sequels, both of which I heard were really bad. I think Tony said we might review the second one at some point. We're not reviewing that Legally Blonde shit. I refuse to watch the movie. I heard it's terrible. Um, but overall, definitely check out Legally Blonde because it really is fantastic. So, over guys, and let me know what you guys saw Legally Blonde. You have seen Love to your thoughts on it. Thank you again, Tony, for having me on this channel. Again, if you guys want to check out my channel, I'm sure Tony will leave a link down below. Um, but that's basically all I have to say on Legally Blonde. And now back to Tony. Thank you so much, Kevin Falk, for reviewing Legally Blonde. So Legally Blonde is a film that I personally had a lot of fun with. This movie is just so charming, it's so adorable, it's funny, it just has all the ingredients you need to just make a simple, charming movie. That's what Legally Blonde is and it definitely succeeds at that. This movie, first of all, has a very creative premise. I just love the premise of this young woman going to law school and becoming a lawyer just to get her boyfriend back. It's very creative and I have to give props to the writers for coming up with such a premise like that and it's very well executed. They definitely use this kind of creative premise to their full potential. It has a blend of being silly but also just very charming to watch at the same time. The storyline is really great, the acting's really good, but of course the main reason this film is highly enjoyable it's because of Reese Witherspoon. Now, that's not to put down any of the other actors, because the other actors, like with Luke Wilson or Victor Garber, anyone else that's in this film, they all do their parts very well. But with Legally Blonde, the movie pretty much relies on her to add so much charm. It has a really well-written storyline, and it has a really creative concept, but the movie is twice as more fun to watch, thanks to Reese Witherspoon. Like, Reese Witherspoon is definitely one of the most charming and most beautiful women out there working. So I thought it was a very good casting choice to actually have Reese Witherspoon take this role. She fit this role well, and you really cared about her character. And one of the things that actually really impressed me about Legally Blonde is the fact that they avoid the whole, oh, blondes are dumb and stupid and all that. The point of this movie is that Reese Witherspoon has to prove to everyone that she's not a dumb blonde. She's actually a very smart character. That's what I really appreciate. I like that Reese Witherspoon is actually a smart character. Yes, she's a blonde, but she's not stupid. And whenever people do look at her as stupid, she finds a way to make them look dumb just by her saying something. Like, there's a scene where she's in her bunny outfit and these two ladies, you know, they're the ones that tricked her into thinking it was some kind of costume party. And what she said to those two ladies, man, that was a burn. 
Sure, she may be the glamorous kind of girl that is all about fashion and having her nails done. She is that kind of girl, but at the same time, she's not stupid. She's a very well-written character, and that's what honestly made her character strong. The movie is very well directed. I do think a lot of the moments in the film, they're just very simple wide shots, but they're wide shots for you to be able like, to see the characters walking around or seeing Reese Witherspoon doing her usual stuff. And it's just very cool. It's simple, but it's very well done. The movie is also very well executed, and there's a lot of funny moments and Legally Blonde. There's definitely plenty of laughs when it comes to this movie. Luke Wilson, I really like Luke Wilson here. You could tell the minute you see Luke Wilson that he's gonna fall in love with Ellie Woods, which is the name of the character that Reese Witherspoon plays. But, you know, it's like the way he does interact with Ellie Woods for the small moments. It's just very nice. And I actually do really like Victor Garber as Ellie Woods' professor. I thought Victor Garber did a really good job in the film. Anyone else that I may not be familiar with that's in this film, I thought they all did a very good job on their part. And I have to say, the overall case of the film was actually very interesting. There's this case that that Ellie Woods has to solve in order to prove to everyone that she's not dumb and that she can be a very good lawyer because everyone, mostly everyone, pretty much looks at her as a dumb blonde when she really isn't. Now, when it comes to my flaws with Legally Blonde, they're not really anything too big for me, but there are flaws in this film, like the movie is predictable. You know where the movie's gonna head. It does have some aspects without spoiling anything that you can see happen. Also, there's a certain aspect that deals with Victor Garber's character that I can't really spoil, but it happens when it comes towards the third act of the movie, and once that happened, I thought where they went with that felt very unnecessary, in my opinion. And then when we do get to the third act, where the whole court scene is happening, you know, resolving the whole case, it did feel pretty rushed on how they ended the whole case, and how the case itself ended did feel a little over the top in my opinion but that's really not a huge deal with me I really don't have a whole ton of problems when it comes to Legally Blonde I really enjoyed this movie Legally Blonde to me is an adorable funny charming movie that puts a big old smile on my face so Legally Blonde happy 15th anniversary to it and I'm gonna give it three out of four stars so you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Legally Blonde. And I want to thank Kevin Folk for reviewing this film to celebrate the 15th anniversary. So if you guys want to check him out, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.